basically, when you look at the history of biotechnology, it hasn't worked. It's dangerous. DNA, you think, well, DNA is the kind of source of life, right? Well, actually, where does life come from? Look at a cell. A single cell may have 40 million proteins in it. It's got the DNA, but it's got a whole mechanism how to extract information from the DNA and produce proteins. And very simply put, actually, the proteins that extract the information from the DNA can only be made from the DNA. So you have a chicken and egg situation. You have a whole complete holistic system that is self-referral. No one actually knows where it comes from, but the thing it reminds me most is consciousness. The, the And in fact, I feel that the physiology exists to support consciousness. Consciousness in that sense is primary. If you alter those enormously complex arrangements inside the cell, you potentially potentially altering consciousness, you're potentially undermining the reproductive basis of life. You're changing our identity. There are so many things that we don't know about biotechnology, and there are so many things that are imagined by public relations. So the public perception that comes from science fiction films and pharmaceutical company brochures and public relations, it's an illusion. This is really dangerous technology.